Your first time using a disc sander might have looked like this. The immediate answer is that the sanding disc spins in a counterclockwise rotation. Any work done on the right side of your table will be lifted instead of pressed down, like the left side of your table. You just can't argue with physics. And you'll really know this if your sander came with a guard preventing the use of that side. And that should probably be the end of this bite size. Except you can technically cheat and be perfectly safe doing it. To do this trick you'll have to remember a few things. First, the stock you're using will need to be in a constant motion, which isn't much of a shocker as you shouldn't ever hold your stock against the sander. Second, that motion is never from right to left and is always starting from the left and moving to the right. Third, the pressure you put on the stock should be greater as you push down than as you press against the disc. This might mean a few passes to get your edge sanded where it should be, but it also prevents burning. And finally, the only time you should ever use this method is when the width of your stock is wider than the center of your sanding disc. Shorter stock is not safe. Sub and follow for more bite-sized tips. Keep making things.